hearing about someone possibly shot, someone possibly detained. What's the latest? Correct. So. Before, just before 10 o'clock, we received a shot spotter call uh, at the area uh, at Grant High School. And during that same time, we, uh, Twin Rivers also received a call. And so we responded to Grant High School. Um, when we got there, we worked in conjunction with Twin Rivers and located a student that had been shot in the arm. Uh, that student was quickly transported to an area hospital. Uh, he sustained a, a gunshot wound, non-life-threatening, non-critical, to his arm. And working together with Twin Rivers, they quickly apprehended the uh, individual involved in the shooting down the street. Um, and the school remains in lockdown right now and the school district will forward more information when that comes available regarding releasing the students. But at this time, it's an active investigation. Uh, officers will be on scene for a little while longer, uh, work in the case, and uh, once we get more information, we'll release that to you. You said it was a male student who had been shot? Correct. Uh, both individuals involved are male students, uh, and it was a targeted, not any kind of other incident, it was just a targeted situation between two students. For the person who was apprehended, was that Correct. So the shooting took place on campus? It did. In, it took place on campus, but not inside a building. Was it in that front parking lot right around Grand where we had seen a lot of Correct, in the, in the parking lot area. Are both of these students in the same grade? Are they affiliated at any sort that, of I don't have that information at this time. I know they are both uh, juveniles. They're both teenagers, uh, but their exact uh, status as far as school goes, I, have, I don't have that information. How many students saw this happen? Uh, I don't have the exact numbers. Um, obviously, there's witnesses or schools that, uh, in session when it happened. I don't have exact numbers on, on how many students actually saw what happened. I saw a canine officer at a church about a block away from that front parking lot right on Grand Avenue. It looked like they were searching. Is that where that shooter was, was apprehended, or, or was there some sort of scene at that church? No, it, it, the suspect was apprehended away from the school, and so I'm assuming that the canine was actually working the, the call and looking for the suspect at that time, or was in involved in the investigation. Anytime there's a shooting, there's concern. When you have a shooting on a school campus, yes. when it was a student who was the shooter, what concerns you about the circumstances here? So I, again, that's why I mentioned it is a targeted shooting, not an active school shooter or anything like that. We want to make sure the parents are aware that the situation was uh, brought to a conclusion as far as an active or any kind of situation like that. Uh, it was targeted. It's not an active shooter. The suspect is detained. Uh, there is no threat to the school or the students at this time. Officers are in, on scene investigating the incident. So um, at this point, there's no threat to the community or to the school itself. And there's great collaboration between both agencies and the school district to bring this to a close so quickly. Was the shooter 14 or 18? Where in that teenage high school range? I, I don't have that information, but they're, they're both teenagers. That's what I can give you for right now. Yeah. I, I saw a few of us news media speaking with a woman who happens to own the property right across the street from the school. She said her son is a school employee and that her son might have stepped in to break something up. Are, are those reports verified? Is that something you've heard? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to speak on the investigation just because I don't know what the details are and I don't want to give you false information. So uh, as the information develops, obviously we'll be able to provide more to it. But what we can say is there was definitely a shooting. Uh, there was definitely a victim that sustained a gunshot wound to the arm, transported to the hospital, um, and he is in good condition. Um, besides a gunshot wound and the suspect is detained at this time and so there is no threat to the school what led to the actual uh, incident we don't have that that's part of the investigation that we'll be looking into you said the campus is all, still on lockdown correct what's happening there are these searching the campus right now? no so the, the it's part of the investigation obviously we don't know if there's more information that, that needs to be relayed from students or also the other issue is obviously uh, releasing students uh, so quickly and so that's going to be something that the school district has to come up with and make a decision. Do they release the students? Do they hold class still? Um, and I know parents are concerned so I'm sure that if parents show up and they need their, their student they will release them to them uh, but at this time they're just holding on to students uh, and continuing with classes at this point. What well, can you tell parents as obviously you mentioned they're concerned and they're probably watching keeping up on social media and trying to get information, where can they get the latest updates and can they expect an estimated time to come maybe for their 
Correct. So for us, as part of the investigation, we will give information through Twitter. We'll update on Twitter. The school district has the ability, and they will be sending out a letter and a notification to the parents the way they usually communicate to parents. Uh, so that will be coming from the school district itself. And I know you said that this was targeted. Is there any sort of fear of retaliation at this point, maybe from other students, other organizations? Yeah, so that's part of the investigation. We don't have that those details as of yet, but again, it was not some uh, you know, school shooting. It was literally a targeted situation, and so we don't have all those details. Once that comes available, we can kind of give you more information at that time. With that word targeted, do you believe that either student was a member of some sort of gang or organization? Yeah, that we don't have. We know that obviously it was between them two. Uh, it wasn't something that, again, the that we've seen in other, you know, other sh school shootings. This is not a school shooting. This is an incident that happened on campus, but not a school shooting. And One more question, guys. A little technical, was it Twin Rivers who apprehended the other student, or was it you guys who did? It was a combination. So they both worked together for the apprehension. So I don't have exactly which officer, if it was a SAC PD or Twin Rivers, but it was a collaboration between both agencies that made it happen and was able to take the, the uh, suspect into custody. And one gunshot? At one gunshot wound, correct. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.